Hey, 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 yep, 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 yep. You know, I could be a hand model. I figured I would uh, give you a tour. Never buy cheap nipples. Are you ready for the pig fiasco to begin? It will be a fiasco. This is a finely oiled machine. I don't understand. They didn't load very well. We had a team meeting last night. This is the like sitting area where you come in. We got a big old tree. me anyway uh i'm up at site one i got a little maintenance i gotta pull a little maintenance this morning i'm gonna grab my gloves because you know i could be a hand model so i gotta keep these gotta keep gotta keep them in good shape so we decided or i decided i'd let the piggies clean the alley we're gonna put them back in their pen hi 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 hello again hi Sort for mayor. Sort for mayor. I'd appreciate your vote. Thank you. I gotta replace some nipples and I got a water. I got a fitting that I gotta replace. I've kind of gotten kind of fond of my my pack out tote. The thing's pretty handy, really. I got a uh, bag of fittings, Teflon tape, some stainless steel clamps, stainless steel nipples. Public service announcement don't buy cheap nipples. I don't care uh, what aspect of your life you're talking about, never buy cheap nipples because uh, in the end, uh, the cheap ones will screw you over. That's good advice. <clears throat> I have a communist wrench, 21 millimeter communist wrench and 5 16 nut driver. A pair of ice grips also. Okay, let's see what kind of mischief we can get into. The help showed up because I couldn't hold the camera and try to fix this all together, but this, this clamp had come loose and this drop doesn't have a valve on it. So we just vice gripped it and I came and put it back on and put a new clamp on it only to come to find out that the nipple screwed and this has, happens to be one that doesn't have a valve on it. My communist wrench for my Edstrom nipple won't fit my standard nipple. The old ones that were in here, I don't, I think they were, I don't know what brand they are, but that wrench won't fit it. So you might have to try plan B. I'll see if I can get it to turn with the vice grips, but I'll probably just bend the brackets. <laughs> You didn't have another wrench. Yeah, I didn't have another wrench. So you're using what? Ice, two pair of ice grips. <laughs> it's not supposed to be like that, and it's not out of gas. So that's the new one. So these are Edstrom's. These are good. The ones that come in these cups, not so much. They are a booger to get started though. The threads are so thin. I do have the right wrench for the new nipple. So there you go. Trying to get all the junk out of there. Much better. Turns on, turns off. One problem down, many more to go. Good morning, everybody. Today, we're up here at site two, and we're gonna be loading out overstocks. For those of you that don't know what overstocks are, we've explained it a hundred million times on this channel, but we'll explain it one more time. We we overstocked the barn, and in this instance, we got 4,000 pigs in this 2,400 head finisher. And the system we grow pigs for, there's really no nurseries. It's wean to finish guys and feeder pig to finish guys. And so, when we get about two months in where the pigs are feeder pig size, we send out the extra pigs we raised when they were wiener pigs, and we send them to a person that just wants to do feeder pig to finish. So today, the extra pigs that we're gonna be sending out are going to a guy 
that doesn't want to mess around with wiener pigs but wants to just finish out from the time that they're feeder pigs to when they sell them as fat hogs. Hopefully they'll move through the alley well and we won't have any problems and it'll go nice and easy. Are you ready for the pig fiasco to begin? It won't be a fiasco. This is a finely oiled machine. You look like a Viking. If it was all gray, like you'd Viking. be a Viking. I will be a Viking. Someday. Someday I will. Not yet. Almost though. Maybe I need just for men. Color this shit up. What do you think? I'm not ready for you to be gray yet. I'm about Cause then I'll start feeling bad for you when you're working oh, well, with then me. I'm not gonna color it if I can get sympathy. <laughs> I'm all about pity. First trucks here. Time to get her going. Shout out to Nup Trucking. Shout out to Greg Hall. All right, come on pigs. Come on. They're kind of being a little stubborn today. They're not moving as good as I thought they would. They like to just lay around and hang out with their buddies. But that's not what we're doing today, fellas. Hey, 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 yep, 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 sure. Come on, come on, come on. down the wide open alley that would be awesome if you guys like to run well i'm giving you all the room you want here yep 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 there you go there you go there you go come on So how many a load and how many are we sending out? Cause I might've told them wrong. 375 to a load and we're gonna load uh, 750. 750 today. And... 750 today and then we're gonna load 500 out uh, next week. So that'll be the, so what is that, 1250? Yeah. Yeah. I don't understand. They didn't load very well. We had a team meeting last night. We talked about the weather conditions. We knew it was gonna be a little cold. We practiced snapping it in the cold weather. And uh, I don't know, everybody seemed on board, but uh, these, they just didn't execute very well this morning. So we're gonna go back for the second load. We're gonna talk about fundamentals and uh, see whether or not we can come back and, and try to finish this thing out strong. Here we go. Another truck. Another 300 and how many? 375. 375. Come on, kids. Let's get her going. I gotta save you guys. Come on, come on. There you go. Come on, hey! Let's go, let's go. Get up there, come on. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. In the words of Torque Whistler, make good bacon, make us proud, make good choices. Hey, so I figured I'd give you a little update. Uh, if you remember this place, I hauled a few loads of dirt in here. So this is our Airbnb that we've been working on and we actually got it done i figured i would uh give you a tour oh hi hi i'm giving the people a tour oh well, hi <laughs> so living room dining room i don't know if you remember what it all looked like it was pretty crappy the last time you saw it let's go through here this is the porch I'm making it kind of quick. Oh, better unlock that. This is the deck. We tidied it up just a little bit. 
not fit to be out here today. So, kitchen. It all came out pretty good. Butler's pantry. A lot of build-ins. Basement, bathroom. Uh, this is the like sitting area where you come in. We got a big old tree for it. I probably don't really do it justice because I'm not the I'm not the prime. Oh hey, how's it going? Look at me, I'm all cleaned up. Happens every once in a while. You go upstairs. We put a lot of memorabilia in here from the people that built this. Um, so George Gallup, he and his wife lived here. He's the guy that came up with the um, Gallup pole. This is this is my favorite bedroom. I like this color for whatever that matters. This is the other bedroom. TV is not on fire. This is the third. Looking good. I'm surprised at how much built-in stuff there is for as old as this house is. This is the master. So, closet. We put the shower in. Redid all this. Oh. This is the other bathroom. Got a claw foot tub. And then this is what they call the sleeping porch, which it's not really. Look at that, how fun's that? This has got a chain on it, heavy enough, even for me. Oh, look at that. You can just come out here and think to yourself. Hmm. hmm. I'm thinking that I need a drink for all the people I'm gonna have to talk to tonight. So we gotta get some lights down here. Put a ping pong table down here. Ola's speakeasy, so Ola Babcock, that's the lady that built this. So, not anything fancy, but dry, good, laundry room. Yeah, I, not very exciting, but. Ola Babcock is the lady that built this house, and she was the first female Secretary of State for the state of Iowa, and she is the person that started the Iowa State Patrol, so she's got a little notoriety for that. And the library at the state house is named after her. I do have a little time before people start coming. So I'm going to make a drink and I'm kind of proud of this. So stay right here. I'm going to show you something. Who says that TikTok is not entertaining yet educational? This is a bottle of Four Roses. However, I have made, I've made a freezer old fashioned out of this. This entire bottle, I already have the mix in it. For old fashions, all I have to do is pull it, pour it over ice and put a little orange around the lip and it's good to go. Me too. I've got my solo cups. I don't have a perfect round sphere of ice, but it'll do. It smells delicious. Two ounces, three ounces. Perfect. orange slice. I'm going to go ahead and throw it in there. Made one for Corey too. And can't forget the cherries. For appearances, we decided to use the fancy glasses because we want it to look good. So we're all using the fancy glasses. And they are excellent, so happy weekend to you.